Okay, we are now back at another karate spot in Lebanon and right now we are in a forest. So yes, today we will be going to a river and possibly doing some hunting or fishing. So don't forget to smash subscribe and end like button down below. If you do want to know when every single one of my videos come out, just hit that little bell notification and that is all you need to do. Like a look at this forest. We are only at the start of the forest, but soon. So let's go into this little plot of land, and we will be going through a lot of little places where there could be fruit. And this place obviously has some fruit right there. And let's go explore what and see what there is here. So the, this is a house that is very old, as you can tell. It's made from straight up rock, and that is it. So let's go inside and see what is here. Alright, so there is a little river down there. So let's go back out and see if we can go there. Could get to the water. So that little pipe is coming straight from the mountain. And this is just straight mountain water, which then turned into a river. So there is two parts of the river. There is obviously this bit. Well, obviously this river, this little bit, and then that top bit. And then this soon leads up to the bigger part. So it'll probably be going to another um, pipe all the way at the end of it. And then it will go straight to the spot where we are going. And I forgot to mention where we are. So this place is called Naha Musa. Well, this entire mountain forest sort of area. This entire place is called Naha Musa and there is a river we can hunt, we can do pretty much anything we want here. And obviously people do live in here, so we do, well that is their land, so we can't go in that. And there is some fruit right there, some figs actually. And I don't think any of them are ready. Oh, well, they are a bit soft, so they might be ready. And it looks pretty good. Fig right now, so let's see how it is. Uh, it's not as juicy because it's not ready like fully, but this is probably one of the ones that are just right. It tastes really good. It it probably needs a, maybe another more week and it will be ready, but, but other than that, it tastes pretty good. And yes, yeah, so look how big this fig tree is. It goes all the way up to there and probably the ripe ones, which are very good, are probably all the way at the top, so we are not going to be getting the good ones anytime soon. We are actually on a roof of a very, very old house, and we can see everything from up here. So all the big trees that you do see are cedar trees. They are actually Lebanon's national tree, and they are the biggest, one of the biggest trees in the world. So we are now, we can see a lot more from just the start of the forest and soon we will be going to the river which it is pretty big and this is apparently a Roman thing that has been around for hundreds of thousands of years. So that little circle that you do see is from the Roman times and there is this place actually is from where some Roman stuff is. So it is built on top of Roman stuff. So let's go down and see if we can see it. Part of the Roman house. And this was built when the Romans were here. And there is a hole where they were digging for gold and diamonds. And I bet you they probably found because it goes very deep. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it does go underneath a bit. And so let's go around. Well, let's look around and see what is here. So there's like a little fireplace in there and there's obviously a lot of dirt from there and apparently this was a Roman's house and then after they left it, um, we did fix it up. They did fix it up some people so obviously it is a real house and there's also this bit which we just saw from up there. So that circle bit was also built from Romans and it is still standing after thousands of years. So let's get back out and... Uh, see what else we can see. Obviously it's leaking because we shot it and we've got a couple more holes up here. So and if you don't know a shotgun bullet does have like eight pallets in it so we shot it and let's shoot some more. Back from Nahamusa 
and we it is now night time and we are going to be lighting up some fireworks all of the fireworks that we did get so we got we got it in order so this is the smallest and then it just gets better and the better so everything that you do see here is straight from lebanon and the biggest one here which we got is big fireworks that, that are 49 shots the second one, I think, yeah, it's a 50 shot, but it is smaller fireworks. And then we've got two of the same, which is, I do believe, yeah, a 16 shot. Two of them. And then we've got these ones, which I have no idea what these are. It's a six shot. And you stab this bit into the ground, and then you light the top. So we've got four of them, and then we got this. So what these are, these are rapid ones like that. And then it just shoots like 20 mini fireworks at the same time. It is pretty cool and yes, we'll be lighting it up in the night. Now doing the fireworks, we're doing the smallest ones first. And let's see what it is. Alright, so that's the end of the smallest ones, and then we're going to be working our way up to the biggest ones. So now we're doing the third one, then the fourth, and then the big one. Alright, so now we're doing the two smaller ones. Just need to wait for the foil to go on, and it is on. <laughs> So that is the end of the two small ones, and then we'll be doing some bigger ones. So that was the end of the second one and now we are doing the big one and let's see how it is so it is now lighting and Alright, so that was the end of it. 
fireworks. That last one was crazy. I do believe it was like a 50 shooter and it was the biggest ones I've ever seen. So don't forget to smash subscribe and like button down below. If you do want to know when every single one of my videos do come out, just hit that little bell notification and that is all that you need to do. So we just finished up with the fireworks and I forgot to mention this was all for my auntie's birthday so shout out for that. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.